Any difference of opinion should be worked out in private while showing deep respect for one another. Just because someone disagrees with us doesn't make him a bad person. We have to understand that. And uh, his difference of opinion uh, may, it may search us through. It, it may be something that we need to think about and consider. And we always consider that the other person may be right. Hey, it's Felice, totally awake, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. Now, what you just heard was from David Splain, which is one of the Jehovah's Witness governing body, you know, one of the eight leaders. I thought this was so, you know, uh, encouraging, really, the advice that he gave, that just because someone disagrees with us does not make him a bad person. And that we have to consider they may be right. I thought those were excellent points that he brought out. And everyone should take heed to that, you know. We should always remember that just because someone disagrees with us, it doesn't mean that they're a bad person. And we have to consider that they may be right. Now, it's interesting that he says this. Of course, I'm, I'm taking a clip of what he said totally out of context, and that's okay, because they do the, those type of things all the time, okay? Cherry picking scriptures and, and taking what someone may have said out of context, okay? Now, it's interesting because they don't practice what they preach. Here he is preaching this message, but yet, just last year at their convention, he was saying how apostates was, you know, basically the devil and Satan was their father. And why should we believe them if they're the words of an apostate, right? Satan is behind the twisted teachings of apostates. He's the father of the lie. And those who lie are doing exactly what their father does. The apostates have nothing to offer us, brothers. All they have to offer is hate. All they have is, uh, to offer is criticism and negative talk. If they are the words of apostates, why would we believe them? Now think of it this way. You have a bottle on your shelf that's marked poison. Do you need to open it up, take a swig to see if it really is poison? Believe what the label says. It's funny how he has a different tune, this convention. I'd say he's talking to us still. He's, he's still, he, I, I, it's the same tune. It's just carrying over from last year. First, he was telling y'all don't listen to apostates. Now he's saying, you know what? They might be right. Just because someone disagrees with us, that don't make them a bad person. And we have to consider that they may be right. So that's how I'm looking at it, y'all. You know, and that's how I think this, this is good advice across the board. We can't get mad at people for having a different opinion. You know, we can, and, and this, you can't be, you know, um, picking and choosing who you're going to have this outlook with. This is across the board, right? If you're a Christian, you can't be getting mad just because somebody disagree with you. You you can't say that makes someone a bad person just because they disagree with you. And you have to consider that they may be right. Okay. So maybe they were right when they said, hey, it's a cult. You're in a cult. Maybe they were right when they said, Jesus isn't your mediator according to your doctrine, okay? Maybe they were right when they said your organization protects pedos with their two witness rule, okay? Maybe they were right when they said it's unscriptural for people to die refusing life-saving blood, okay? Maybe they were right when they said it's unbiblical and unloving the shunning policy your organization has in place, People even take their own lives over the pain it causes. Maybe they were right when they told you that Watchtower has a history of failed predictions and false prophecies and lies, a history of false and flip-flop doctrines. Maybe you should listen per your leader, David Splain. All right. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments about this statement. All right. It's Felice, totally awake. I'll be back with some more content very soon. Bye.